Woody is the Canadian lumberjack character of Don't Starve Together. As Woody's name suggests, he's a character that's good at harvesting wood. Woody spawns in with Lucy the axe, which deals less than half the damage of a normal axe, but chops wood twice as efficiently. Plus, if Woody holds down left click on a tree while Lucy is equipped, he'll chop super fast, so don't hold space when chopping trees as Woody, please. Woody is truly at his best wood harvesting state when he transforms into the Beaver, as he can not only chop wood even faster than Lucy, but he also digs up stumps, digs up bushes, and even mines rocks. Just look at how fast Woody and his Beaver form are at chopping trees compared to the normal player. Woody truly is the best in the game at getting logs. Except he's not. Maxwell isn't just better than Woody, he's way better. He can summon 5 workers at the cost of a single nightmare fuel, which by the way is super easy for him to get now that beardlings are guaranteed to drop them. 5 workers that not only chop trees but also dig up stumps and put the resources into Maxwell's inventory just embarrasses both Woody and his Beaver form. Wirt also embarrasses him since merms chop really fast and she can hire a bunch of them for cheap. Wendy does the same with Pigmen since it's easy for her to get monster meat. It costs Woody 3 monster meat, 20 health, well over 15 sanity, and all his hunger in order to turn into a beaver and chop trees. On the other hand, if another character uses 3 monster meat to befriend pigs, they harvest wood even faster with none of the downsides. Maxwell, Wendy, and Wirt all harvest wood faster because while their minions do the chopping and digging, they are free to pick up the wood at the same time. Woody on the other hand has to first exit his werebeaver state and then begin the collection process, and he's just as slow as any other character at picking up logs off the ground. Adding insult to injury, there's the fact that after day 77, the player gets access to the truly best lumberjack in the game. So that's the first reason why Woody needs a buff. Despite his name being Woody and his entire character revolving around the ability to get wood, he's not really good at it. He's not the best day one lumberjack because Maxwell exists, and he's quickly eclipsed by other characters like Wendy and Wirt, or really any character that can feed pigs. The second reason why Woody needs a buff is because, when compared to his human form, his Wermoose form isn't good at fighting. Against things like spiders and frog rain, sure, his Wermoose form is better than his normal form. In fact, his Wermoose form is so good against frog rain that he's easily better than even Abigail at mass murdering frogs. However, against anything other than a fight against only weak mobs, after Woody gets a handbat and some armor, the moose's downside simply outweigh its positives. The charge lets you move at 200% speed, but it only deals 60 damage. There's a windup, a cooldown, you can't change direction, and you can't cancel out of it. So using the charge to kite or damage bosses is a waste of time compared to just dodging them normally. His punches deal handbat damage, which is good, but they seem to be slower than normal character melee attacks, which means the standard fresh handbat is better. The moose takes 90% damage reduction, which is great on paper, but this is completely negated by an enormous downside, which is that the Wermoose can't use items and can't eat food. Not being able to heal yourself while in battle is such an enormous downside that it's the entire reason characters like Wormwood take serious measures to avoid combat. Not only is the Wermoose severely hindered by this, but he also takes 20 damage from just eating the moose idol, so simply entering the form requires Woody to be hit by the equivalent of 200 points of damage. Then, for some reason, Clay decided that the slower attack speed of the moose wasn't enough. It also has a slower movement speed, making it even harder to dodge enemy attacks, which in turn makes his inability to heal that much more penalizing. The downsides don't stop there though, because not only does his sanity take a 15 point hit after eating the kitschy idol, but while in his Wermoose form, his sanity will drain at 6 per minute. Add that to the sanity drain of night and the insanity aura of whatever you're fighting, and you might be facing nightmare creatures as well. In addition to him not being able to heal, having a slower attack and movement speed, and taking damage and losing sanity for merely transforming, the Wermoose has another major downside which is that he can't equip any items. Forget the fact that there are stronger melee weapons in the game than even the Hambat. Normal characters can equip non-melee items to greatly enhance their combat effectiveness. The Walking Cane and Magiluminescence give the player a 25% and 20% movement speed increase respectively, which makes avoiding damage way easier. The Bee Queen Crown reverses insanity auras, allowing the player to fight enemies without worrying about nightmare creatures interfering. Then you have utility items like the Weather Pane, Ice, and Fire Staffs, and Nightmare Amulets or even the Pan Flute that are vital in beating certain bosses. The Wormoose can't use anything in his head, body, or hand equipment slots, which is such an enormous downside it's on par with his inability to heal himself. The last major downside to the Wormoose is that unless you're timing a full moon, you only have at most 4 minutes in the form. If you're not constantly hitting things, Woody's awareness will drain rapidly, and you'll revert back to human in a very short time. 
If you're constantly fighting, then it's four minutes. When Woody reverts back to his human form, he is extremely vulnerable. He's not only starving to death because the wear form depletes his entire hunger, which is another major downside, but since he drops anything that is equipped except for backpack items, he'll have no armor on. So if you don't finish the fight in 4 minutes, which isn't that rare when fighting bosses, you're left with low health because of all the damage you took during the fight, low sanity, starving to death, and without any protection while in the middle of a boss fight. Sure, the Wermoose has some minor upsides like night vision and both heat and cold insulation, but light during combat isn't a big deal unless you're relatively new to the game. If you're fighting raid bosses, you're going to have star collar staffs, lanterns that you can place or moggles. You're also not going to be worrying about overheating or cooling because thermal stones solve all of that at the cost of a single inventory slot. Unless I'm fighting a bunch of spiders or frogs, I'd much rather be this. Than this. So outside of extremely early game and two very niche situations, two of Woody's three wereforms are just completely overshadowed by other characters and Woody's own human form. Although I haven't made any videos of Woody in the past, I'd say he's in my top 5 favorite characters in the game. I really like the concept of his wereforms. I think things like night vision, being able to chop, dig up stumps, and mine, deal 60 damage per hit, and have infinite 90% damage reduction are really neat upsides. Sadly, the downsides of his wereform are simply so drastic that no matter how hard others try to make his wereforms viable, they simply pale in comparison to fighting like Wilson, which is boring. So Woody needs a buff. He's a lumberjack who is bad at getting lumber and his combat form isn't all that great at combat. There's one simple thing that Clay could change about Woody that will change all of that, and that is to allow Woody to use both body and head slot items while in his wereform. This simple change would make Woody's wereforms not only so much better, but way more interesting. The reason why Woody's werebeaver form isn't good at collecting wood isn't that it's not fast at chopping or digging. It's very fast. The problem is that after chopping and digging up stuff, Woody has to change back to human before he can pick up logs. On the other hand, Maxwell, Wendy, Wirt, and any other character that uses minions to chop down trees are free to collect the wood while their workers do the chopping. If Woody could use equipment while in wear form, then he could reclaim his title as the best wood harvester once he obtains the Lazy Forager. The Lazy Forager automatically picks up items around him. It would allow Woody's collecting speed to keep up with his chopping speed, which would put him above Maxwell as the best. It would also really incentivize Woody players, both new and experienced, to head to the ruins, and the new meta would be to give your Lazy Foragers to your friendly Woody. Allowing the Were Beaver to equip the Lazy Forager would solve the problem of Woody being a bad lumberjack. Allowing the Were Moose to use both head and equipment slot items would not only solve the problem of the Moose not being a great combat option, but it would make the Were Moose just a way more interesting character to use in general. Allowing the Were Moose to use the body slot would open up options like using a Magiluminescence to boost the Moose's speed, allowing it to kite easier which is desperately needed since it can't heal. Like the Lazy Forager, this will incentivize Woody to explore the ruins and would make giving your friendly Woody a Magi a really helpful gift. Another item the Wermoose player might consider equipping is a life-giving amulet. While equipped, the life-giving amulet not only gives a little sanity at 2 per minute, but it also restores 5 HP every 30 seconds. No one uses the life-giving amulet this way, but since Woody has no way to heal, this would give him 40 HP over the duration of his transformation, which is pretty significant. Another equipable item that's pretty much no use would be the chilled amulet. Whenever an enemy hits the player with the chilled amulet equipped, it freezes them. Loading up Woody with a bunch of chilled amulets could be an effective way to deal with swarms like grumblebees. Even more effective than the chilled amulet would be Wormwood's bramble husks. If Wormwood gives a bunch of these to Woody, then I could definitely see the possibility of Wormwood and Woody becoming the new Bee Queen Slayers. As for the armor durability, I think the equipped armor should lose durability while Woody is in his wereforms. The thought of Woody getting unlimited permanent splash damage from a single bramble husk or being able to benefit from Thulocyte Crown barriers forever sounds kind of broken. For the head slot, being able to use the Celestial Crown in his Moose form would really make the crown shine as the late game item it should be, as it would both increase the Moose's damage, negate the sanity loss of his wear form, and keep Gestalt's neutral while on Lunar Island. For team play, he could equip the Miner's Hat in his head slot so that the rest of his teammates can see what they are fighting if they are trying to engage something in the dark. This might be a little more difficult to implement into the game, but since awareness seems to be tied to hunger, 
For example, when Woody's awareness equals zero, his hunger also equals zero. Woody should be buffed so that items that prevent hunger drain, such as the belt of hunger or fun caps, also reduce the rate in which his awareness decreases. Although this wouldn't be a requirement to fix both his wear forms, this would definitely add more dimensions to the gameplay of all his wear forms, and would incentivize players to actually craft these hunger preventing items that pretty much no one uses. Finally, they should also change the wear moose's attack speed to match that of the normal player. It doesn't make sense to me that a transformation that is all about combat has a slower attack speed than the normal Woody. If anything, the moose should have a higher attack speed. So yeah, that's it. Woody as he is now needs a buff because despite what his name suggests, he's not good at chopping wood and his combat form isn't all that good at combat. Allowing his wear forms to benefit from both head and body slot equipment would make Woody a way more interesting character as it will open up tons of new options for Woody players to consider when deciding what to equip before they transform. Giving Woody this buff would in no way make him an overpowered character. Not being able to eat food or use items are simply too big of a downside. Allowing him to utilize the benefits of head and body slot items simply eliminates the weaknesses of his wear beaver form and makes his wear moose form a lot more viable while incentivizing the player to craft items that pretty much no one currently uses. Anyways, please let me know what you think in the comments. Like always, thanks for watching, take care, and have a great day.